I'm Algebra Annie, and I am here to help you be successful in your algebra class. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Amaya Angelou. Our learning targets today are, I can classify polynomials and write polynomials in standard form. I can evaluate polynomial expressions. Now we're looking at polynomials. And the first thing we need to discuss is a definition. So the term is monomial. And a monomial is a single number, a single variable, or a single product of numbers or variables with a whole number exponents. So what's an example? So a monomial, that's an example of just a number, is like 5. An example of a monomial that is just a variable is x. An example of a monomial that is a product of numbers or a product of variables. So a monomial product of numbers and variables would have been the product xy or the product 0.5x to the fourth. This is a product of numbers and variables or just a product of variables. These are all monomials. They're single parts. Now what's a non-example? If I have a variable to a negative exponent, that is not a whole number exponent, so he is not an example of a monomial. If I have a fraction when the variable is on the bottom, this is not a monomial. These are actually the same thing. If I have 4x minus y because of the subtraction problem, this is not a monomial. Now it is important that we know what a monomial is because now we have to find the degree of a monomial. If you don't know what a monomial is, you can't find the degree of the monomial. So to figure out what the degree of a monomial is, you're going to find the sum, which means we're adding, the exponents of just the variables. You are only adding the exponents of the variables. If it is a constant, or if just a plain old number, a constant is a number, it has a degree of zero. So we have three separate monomials here. We are asked to find the degree of each individual monomial. To do that, you find the sum, you're adding the exponents of those variables. So this is an exponent to the variable a, and this is the exponent to the variable b. So if I wanted to find out the degree of this monomial, you add the exponent 2, and you add the other exponent 2, and I find out that my degree for this monomial is 4. This is a fourth degree monomial. Now looking at this one, I see no letters. I see no variables. If there is no variables, then I'm just looking at the constant. If he's just a constant, his degree is 0. So the degree of this monomial is 0. Looking at this monomial, I'm just supposed to add the exponents to the variables. This variable doesn't have an exponent. It's supposed to. His exponent is 1. He is the only variable there. So since he is the only variable, we just add the exponent of 1. There's nobody else to add to. So he is our degree, and we are done. So a couple more times practicing how to find the degree of a monomial. We're only supposed to add the exponents to the variables. K has an exponent of 2. M is supposed to have an exponent. If it doesn't, you need to make it. It's a 1. So he also has an exponent. If I am finding the degree of this monomial, I'm supposed to be adding the exponents to the variables. So I'm supposed to do 2 plus 1. So this has a total degree of 3. Let's check out this monomial. It has a variable. The variable is an exponent of 1. If he is the only variable and he is the only exponent, then that is the degree so this monomial has a degree of 1. I see a variable. His exponent is 3. So if he is the only variable, there's nothing else to add to. So the degree of this monomial is 3. A couple more practice problems. The variable x does have an exponent. If it's not there, it's because it's a 1. So to find the degree of this monomial, we're supposed to add the exponents. 1 and 2. So if I add 1 and 2, the degree of this monomial is 3. The next one I'm supposed to add the exponents to the variables. 4 and 3. So the degree of this monomial is 4 plus 3, which is 7. So this monomial has a degree of 7. There is no variable on this monomial. If there is no variable, then we are just looking at a constant, and all constants have degrees of 0. So another definition you need to know is a polynomial. 
And a polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials or a difference of monomials. So basically it's a bunch of monomials linked together by plus or subtraction signs. If you want to find the degree of the entire polynomial, you are going to find the degree of the term with the greatest, with the greatest degree. Now that sounds a little bit wordy. Really, honestly, all you're looking for is which monomial had the higher degree. Which monomial actually had the highest degree? So if we're looking at just this problem, this polynomial is made up of one, two monomials. Monomial number one, we have to figure out what its degree is. So this is monomial number one. This right here is monomial number two. If we are only looking at monomial number one, we need to find out its degree. The degree is the exponent on the variable. It's an exponent of one. Over here, monomial number two's degree is two. So we're looking for the monomial with the highest degree. Which one's bigger, one or two? Well, I know two is bigger, so the degree of this total polynomial is two. And you're done. Okay, next problem. This polynomial is made out of one, two, three monomials. This is monomial number one, monomial number two, and monomial number three. Looking at monomial number one, what is the degree of monomial number one? We're supposed to add the exponents. It's an exponent of two, and he has an exponent of one. Two plus one is three. So monomial number one had a degree of three. Let's look at monomial number two. Finding the degree of monomial number two. X had an exponent of one. Y had an exponent of one. So if we add one plus one, monomial number two had a degree of two. Looking at monomial number three, we need to find the degree. There is no variable. If there is no variable, our degree is zero. So our job is to compare all the individual monomials, which monomial has the highest degree. We have a degree of three, a degree of two, and a degree of zero. Who is larger? Three is larger. So the degree of the polynomial is going to be three. So let's go ahead and just practice that a few more times. This polynomial is broken up into monomial number one, monomial number two, monomial number three, and monomial number four. My job is to find the degree of each individual monomial. So the degree of monomial number one, I'm supposed to add the exponents. This is three plus two, so the degree of monomial number one is five. Monomial number two, I'm supposed to add the degrees. I see two and three. So if I add two and three, I find that monomial number two had a degree of five. Monomial number three, I'm supposed to add the exponents. There's only one, so he has a degree of four. Monomial number four, there is no variable. There is no variable, the degree is just zero. So I'm supposed to look at each individual monomial, and I'm supposed to figure out who has the highest degree. I'm comparing five and five and four and zero. So which is the highest degree? Five. So the degree of this polynomial is five. Our last example, this polynomial is broken up into monomial number one and monomial number two. Monomial number one has a degree of two plus one. So monomial number one had a degree of three. Looking at monomial number two, we had a degree of three plus five. Three plus five is eight. So monomial number two had a degree of eight. Which degree is higher? Was the three or the eight higher? I Eight is higher, so the degree of this polynomial is eight. And you're done. Now what is the point of all of this? The point of all of this is so that we know how to put something into standard form. So the standard form of a polynomial that contains one variable is written with the terms in order from greatest to least. So the whole point of all this is so that we can actually put it in standard form. 
So when written in standard form, the coefficient in the first term is going to be considered our leading coefficient. The number at the very beginning is our leading coefficient. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two problems. We're going to see, can we put them into standard form? And then after putting them into standard form, can we find the leading coefficient? So I have monomial number one, monomial number two, monomial number three, and monomial number four. So this polynomial is broken up into three individual monomials. So looking at each, we need to figure out what each of their degrees are. So the degree for monomial number one, his degree is just one because he had an exponent of one. Monomial number two has a degree of three. Monomial number three has a degree of, there is no variable, so it's a degree of zero. Monomial number four has a degree of two because his exponent was two. According to the directions, we're supposed to order them from greatest to least, so it's in standard form. So the biggest degree was three. So he is written first. So if I am putting this into standard form, negative 4x to the third is going to be written first. After 3 comes 2, so that's a negative x squared. After a degree of 2 comes a degree of 1, that's a positive 20x. After a degree of 1 comes a degree of 0, and that's a positive 2. So I have written it in standard form from greatest all the way down to least degree. And now my job is to figure out the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the number leading it all. So my leading coefficient is the number negative 4 because he's the number leading it all. Let's go ahead and do another example. So this polynomial is broken up into 1, 2, 3 monomials. Monomial number 1, monomial number 2, and monomial number 3. My job is to figure out the degrees of each individual monomial. So monomial number one has a degree of three. Monomial number two has a degree of five. Monomial number three has a degree of one. I'm supposed to put them in descending order. So standard form. Descending order, highest degree is five. That is a positive y to the fifth. Then that is a positive y third. And then that is a positive four y. So this is now written in standard form. Now my job is to find the leading coefficient. I want the number that is leading the entire standard notation. There is not a number up there. It's because it was a hidden one. Okay, our last topic of the day, we need to name these. So I need to classify this polynomial according to its degree and according to the number of terms it has. So I need to give it basically a first and last name. What is the name of this thing? So I see monomial number one, monomial number two, monomial number three, and monomial number four. My job is to figure out what is the highest degree. What is the degree of this polynomial? So the first monomial had a degree of seven. Monomial number two had a degree of two. Monomial number three had a degree of one. And monomial number four had a degree of zero. What is the degree of this polynomial? It's whatever the highest degree is. So looking at each individual degree, who is my highest degree? My highest degree was seven. So looking at a seventh degree, so here are my degrees. A seventh degree is considered a seventh degree. So that is his first name. His last name is based off of the number of terms that I have. The number of terms is basically how many monomials did you see? One, two, three, four. There were four monomials. So there's four terms. So a four term is called a polynomial. So what is the name of this polynomial? He is a seventh degree polynomial. Our last two examples of the day. We have two different polynomials and we need to give them a name. So this had monomial number one and monomial number two. Monomial number one had a degree of one. Monomial number two didn't have a variable, so he's a degree of zero. So our job is to find what is the highest degree in this polynomial. The highest degree was a 1. So looking at that, a degree of 1, his first name is linear. Now our job is to figure out how many terms does this polynomial have. It was made up of two monomials, so it has two terms. If it had two terms, it is called a binomial. 
So what is the name of this polynomial? He's called linear binomial. And that is it. Next one, I see monomial number one, monomial number two, and monomial number three. The degree of monomial number one is a two. The degree of monomial number two is a one. And the degree of monomial number three, there is no variable, so he's a degree of zero. So looking back through this entire polynomial, who had the highest degree? Zero, one, or two? Two is the largest degree. So according to my degrees, this is a quadratic. And then my job is to look at how many terms it had. My polynomial is made out of three monomials, so it had three terms. Three terms is considered a trinomial. So what is the name of this entire polynomial? Quadratic trinomial. And that is it. What did we learn today? I can classify polynomials and write polynomials in standard form. I can evaluate polynomial expressions. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in class.